Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. I'm Highlighter, and today we are playing Original War. This is another good old game, another one of my favourites, and it's really quite an underrated game, I think. Fairly unknown. Which is a shame, because it really is fantastic, and it has a totally unique setting, as far as I'm aware. This is, if you don't know, a real-time strategy game with some RPG elements, and it's uh, totally different to anything that I can put my finger on, so let's continue, let's start, or let's start rather, let's uh, head into the campaign. There are two campaigns, we're going to start with the American campaign, it's really the introduction, and uh, this will really get us into the game. You can see I've played this a fair bit in the past, and uh, you can see that the missions do branch, you can choose pretty much any time to branch and try a mission again, try different things start new campaigns. Um, that does come in handy sometimes because uh, things can change quite a lot depending on what happens throughout the game. The main story usually stays roughly the same but how you go about it will change. It's quite interesting that way as well. We are going to be playing on the commander difficulty because master strategist really is tough as balls. You really do have to be a master strategist to do that. On Commander, we're sort of eeksy peeksy with the enemy. The on adventurer, we're a bit better equipped, have better skills than them. On Master Stretchers, they definitely are in charge, so let's get going with Surprise Party. When they told me about the mission, I thought they were crazy. We've all heard stories about time travel, but here were these guys, scientists and top brass telling me we could do it for real. But they weren't crazy. They had seen Eon. Eon was discovered here, in the wastelands of Siberia during the First World War. Luckily, the guy who found it was one of ours, US Major John Peters. He got it shipped back home where it was classified top secret and taken to Area 51. Our scientists had little problem working out how to start it up, and they found that objects placed inside it simply disappeared. After experiments with radioactive isotopes, the scientists finally uncovered the machine's purpose. The Eon is a time machine. The implications are incredible. In Eon, we have the potential to erase every tragedy from our history. But though we knew what the machine could do, we were unable to use it. The fuel in Eon was never analyzed, it was used up in the experiments. More didn't exist. Until now. Until we discovered Cyberite. This compound contains elements that have never been seen before. When it was first discovered in Siberia, the geologists feared it was radioactive because it felt warm to the touch. Gingerly, they passed the Geiger counter over it, but they didn't even hear it crackle. Back at the lab, they immersed a small piece of it in a beaker of cold water. The water boiled so furiously it almost exploded, shattering the beaker. The cyberite fragment sat in the middle of the debris unchanged, unaffected. In the presence of cyberite, the hydrogen atoms had fused to form helium and released incredible energy in the process. In our hands, we had the catalyst for cold fusion and more power than mankind will ever need. There's only one problem. The reserves are buried deep in the ground in Siberia, Russia. That's when I was assigned the mission Globe Mine. Our first task was to extract enough cyberite to power the Eon for several journeys. Our second task was a little more complicated. The Earth looked pretty different then. The journey from Siberia to Alaska could be made by land. And that would be our task to mine the incredible reserves of cyberite and transport them to Alaska. It'll take the rest of our lives, but when this day comes around again, the cyberite will belong to America. Departure commences any moment. There are 20 soldiers ahead of me, but that doesn't mean they'll be arriving first. The Eon produces a scattering effect, so we may end up miles apart and divided by several years. The only thing worth knowing about the Eon is that it's a one-way ticket. That's why they chose someone like me 
loyal to the job and my country, with no living relatives, nothing, and no one that can't be left behind. Then, last night, I met her, Sergeant Joan Ferguson. She's on the support crew here and won't be coming with us. I feel as if I've known her all my life. Just my luck. I finally meet the right woman, and it's two million years too late. It's too late to turn back now. I'm entering the Eon. My life in this time is about to end, and a new one will begin a long, long time ago. Group 9, prepare now. Donaldson, Williams, McMillan, Sikorsky, Phillips, Grant, go to Eon. So, this is it. I'm going to miss you, John. Maybe you could get transferred. My work's here. I know that. I just wish we'd met some other time. <laughs> oh, maybe we will. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. So, here we are. We're in the game. And this, this is us. We are John McMillan, soldier level 3. And we have to be careful with this guy because we command him from on high, but he really is us. This is Joan. We've met her too late. What a shame. But we're a soldier and we've got a job to do. These down here, these are our hints. But that's what I'm here for, to tell you what to do. So let's uh, move over to this time machine, apparently. So this is pretty standard RTS, fog of war, units, what we can see, allies, all good stuff. Hey guys! Everybody ready? If you want to quit, quit now. You ain't got the balls, we don't want you going. So what the hell are the women doing here? We may have less between our legs than you, but a hell of a lot more between the ears, Sikorsky. So they're away. This is a no return ticket. Once you're inside, there's no going back. Surely, surely we have to go on. Surely we have to play the game. Well, we don't have to. Let's back out. Let's be with Joan. This may be the last entry I make. This morning, CNN announced the Russians reached Indianapolis. We have to evacuate while we can. Being with Joan, Having a family has meant everything to me. But each morning, I've woken up wondering if I betrayed the future of mankind for my own happiness. Now I think I know the answer. Crap. Pesky Russians. Russians everywhere. I guess we've got to go to the past. Let's do it. Let's go One more through step, time. And no more 21st century. It's gotta be a good move. If you say so, John. What a place. Untouched since the dawn of time. And not a tourist for two million years. This is Lieutenant John McMillan reporting for duty. Alpha, do you read me? Come in, Alpha. This is Lieutenant McMillan. Alpha, do you... Get off the radio now. Thanks for the welcome. Who? You heard me, soldier. Shut up and move. Identify yourself. This is your last warning. If you want to live, get your head down and get out. You want to die, then stay right there. Shit. What is this? Objective one. Survive. Okay, let's do what this Mr. Powell says. And let's get some cover. Because that sounds bad. The signal comes from the hill. Quick, before he moves. We're sure not in Kansas anymore. So yeah, we have to be careful with John, because he is effectively us. If he dies, it's game over. Too late. The bastard is gone. Good, we lost him. Right, oh, Identify I see yourself. Again. Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Just tell me your name and what's going on. Corporal Bobby Brandon, sir. What happened? Well, I, I don't know anything, sir. I, I just stepped into the Eon. The next thing I knew, I was here and being shot at. Who were they? Well, I didn't wait to find out. 
I was just trying to stay alive. You're hurt pretty bad. We gotta get you some treatment. Go ahead, call 911. We'll get you to Alpha Base. They'll patch you up there. Ready? All right, who have we got? Bobby Brandon. This is an old friend of mine. See yes. him in many playthroughs. So, uh, he is pretty badly wounded. He's in the yellow, which means that I'm there. without much more damage, he's going to go down. If you're green, you can get scratched and come back. But once you're in yellow, you need a medic. And once you go, oh, there's an enemy. Let's pause and have a look at him. Pavel Star... how do you say that? Stretchy, maybe? Don't know. Yeah, let's uh, leave him be for now. We're on the hill, so we can see him down there when he can't see us. There are three of you in the area. Form a group and head northeast. Repeat, head northeast. We'll try to get you out. What is going on here? Who's attacking us? Stick to the long grass and avoid the roads, or you'll be seen. I said, what the hell is going on here? Who are you? I'm Commander Powell, and if you make it to Alpha, you're in deep shit, soldier. I told you not to use the radio. The enemy's tracing your signal. Use this frequency again and you're dead. God damn it. Okay, let's stay off the radio. So yeah, we're on the hill, so we could see that soldier when he was down there, but he couldn't see us, so uh, the terrain is quite important in this game. So if Bobby gets hit much more, he'll go into the red, and he'll collapse on it. and slowly bleed out, although if things are going that badly, he'll probably end up being shot to death first. So let's be careful until we can find a medic. If Bobby dies though, he... Well, it's bad, but our game will go on. Now. We're sending a search party over. Okay. Okay, Mr. D -d Dodgy Accent. I'm on it. Yeah, it's only John who absolutely must survive, unless a mission objective says so. Them. It's a trap. Continue northeast. I repeat, northeast. You're not sure what to do. Will we try and make contact using the radio, which he said will get us killed? Let's not. We believe the second voice head for the middle top. We believe the first voice head to the top right. Ooh, What's that's your not name, good. soldier? Cirrus Parker, sir. The, the the bastards really dropped us in it, huh? Head northeast. Great grid reference. I don't think so. The lieutenant has a compass. It's all the info we've got for now, so let's use it. Ooh, that's that's good that that thing didn't come along up here and it's sticking to the road. Yes. All right, hey, Cirrus. Cirrus Parker. He's another old friend. Yes. I'm gonna group him with Jonks. They're both soldiers. Ready? Bobby has I'm no there. skill as a soldier. He does have a mechanic skill. What is your friend's name? Shut up, Siri. What, what the hell is Siri talking about? The computers are listening, man. Right, let's try and break through. We'll yes? leave Bobby in the back because, on it. like I said, we don't want him to get shot. These guys have, and also, these guys are soldiers and have soldier skills, so they have more Ready? armor. So they're harder to kill because they're better soldiers. So that's all good reasons to keep them in the front. And that tank is pretty close. I hope it doesn't come all the way up here. We have Americans here. We need help. Let's go, boys. Let's go, sir. Kick some yes, butt. sir. I wish okay, you were Let's kidding. get him. Enemy fire. Cover me. Come on, Ready? Bobby. You can join in. Time to kill. We've okay, let's keep move. Moving. Fast. Stop. Get some extra experience. Sir. Now let's go before that tank gets here. <laughs> Good job, everyone. And we got all the medals, we saved everyone, and we didn't load. Now, this little medal is probably going to be elusive. Because, goddamn, some of these missions get hard. The, the first few aren't too bad. But, uh, between the difficulty and just doing an LP, it's probably unlikely that we'll see a whole hell of a lot of them. So, uh, let's continue. The medals don't really do anything, they're just for us. So here we get to divvy up experience. Everyone gets experience at the end of every mission. You get a lot of experience in your chosen field, and a little bit in some of the others. Now the obvious thing to do, just to give your soldiers soldier experience, but because, especially John's going to need to do a lot of things down the line, but because these people have their main professions, they're going to be doing them anyway. They're going to be building up experience. And experience is limited by mission. 
So you can't just hang around and level up to level 10 on the first couple of missions. So if we're going to get that experience anyway, it's better to boost skills which we're going to need, but which we won't be using a whole lot. So uh, we'll give John some science skill. Cirrus, I think we'll give him mechanical. And you see he's still leveling up because of his smaller boost. And Bobby, I think I am going to give him mechanical, despite everything I just said. Because he's not good at anything else, and I'm not going to be using him for anything else. I've played this game enough to know, so uh, let's just carry on. And here's our stats. We killed two Russian soldiers, so they're red men, as it were. Women, women and a man, I suppose. But that's all. Nothing to see here. Let's go on. Whoa! How did our ancestors get this tooled up? Their weapons are better than ours. They've got to be from the future, same as us. Probably Russians. Of like course. every country has a time machine these days? You got a better explanation? Whoever they are, they want to stop us. And it won't be hard. You want to be more careful. Lieutenant John McMillan, can you tell me what's going on here? Sure. We've got an order to wait and see what happens. That's all the info I've got. And I don't like it. Hold on. They're trying to get through. Alpha base here. Listen up. The enemy are based seven miles north of you, and we are beyond them. This just keeps getting better. Shut up and listen, Parker. Survey the area and contact all other survivors. And then what? I warned you, McMillan. Try to capture an outlying Russian building, consolidate your position, and await further orders. It's crazy. If we kill their guys, we've got to wait for their friends to come looking? Let's put a bullet in our brains now. Size of yours, it'd be hard to hit. You heard the colonel. He gave an order. We do what the man says. Okay. So we've got to capture a Russian base. That should be fine. There's six of us. Yes. So this is Lisa Moving. Wilson. I love this lady. She is another of the old Ready? friends. These two are complete randoms. So everyone we've met until now has been a unique character. Yes. There are unique voices Ready? and they always show up at the same place. You These are me? just randoms. Yes. Generic voices. I think there's there's uh, three generic male and three generic female voices, and uh, they they don't really matter. We probably won't see them after this mission. On my way, sir. Allah be praised. I cannot believe the Eon works. I thought I was going to die. If we hadn't got here, you would have. The Russians are killing our people. Russians? Don't ask me how they got here. For their good soldiers with good kit. I owe you my life, Lieutenant. I hope I can repay you. Tell me what you can do, and you can make a start. I am a nuclear physicist. My name is Paul Katam. Great. You were working on the Eon, and you thought it wouldn't work? When you know everything that can go wrong, it takes a lot of courage to get inside. Even scientists need faith now and again. You sure will now. I can see some of you already saw action. <laughs> I'll have a look at the wound if you remove that filthy rag. Ready? Okay, this is Paul Catan. He's a scientist, which doubles up as a medic in this game. And he's kind of odd, because uh, he has a unique voice actor for conversations, but he has a Ready? generic voice for yes? actually yes. in-game, which is strange. Yes? Here so I'll have him heal Bobby up. He can speed up time while he does that. we probably going to be doing that a fair amount. Yes. And now let's carry on. Uh, yes? Let's put the soldiers in front. Let's go. Yes. What now? Yes. Fast. They all have different move speeds and armor and things, so the move speed can be good to keep an eye on, especially if you've got fast engineers and slow soldiers. A mess that is. All our guys and all dead. They've been like this a few days. We gotta keep moving, people. Let's go. All yes. right, engineers. Do, ready? You stay behind, John. Soldiers, let's find something. Where are these pesky Russians? Time to kill. Ah, oh. There's no way we're going through without more firepower. Retreat! Yep. Fine, sir. I second the retreat I'm option. Way, sir. I'm on it. What now? Yes? Okay, Fine, that could have gone. Sir. Fine, sir. Well, it could have gone better. It could have gone much worse. Ready? No one got knocked down. That's a bunker. We're gonna have to find another way through that. Okay, Paul, do your thing. Ready? Done, sir. That I'm actually gonna set everyone on to yes? hold ground mode. Yes. Just because we're near the enemy. 
Moving, yes, sir. Because when they're on free move, they can potentially move into the Fine, range sir. of the bunker or other enemies. Moving. Fine, sir. Hold ground Fine, just sir. means they're gonna I'm hold away, ground, but meh, be where they need to be Fine, and sir. not go anywhere so really stupid. Yes. Right, Bobby, you you go to yes. the back. Don't sit at the back because oh, yes, God, sir. this is such I'm a mess. Ready for more, sir. Where are you going? Go into the ford. Yes, we want to cross yeah. this river. Yes. And luckily, there's a shallow bit. Drop it, you Russian bastards! Quick. Wait, what's up? Did that come up with Bobby's face? That wasn't Bobby. That was Zachary Hill talking that. Fine, sir. Talking that, saying that. Okay, to rest. Bobby's hurt too. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, you get this guy on his feet. Thanks, Doc. How's Jerry? Moving. Uh, sorry, buddy. He's gonna pay for this. Yeah, Jerry's dead. Yes, sir. Yes. Kill him, and we'll kill Bobby, and we'll carry on along here. What now? Shame we can't stop the bury Jerry, but yeah, this is war apparently. Because you know, pesky Russians. That's really all this game needs. Moving. No further justification. Moving. Pesky Russians. Yes, Moving, sir. We're on it. No problem. Can do, sir. Let's slow down, it, man. Nah, not slow down just yet. Slow sir. down across the river, because this is I've made definitely slowing us down. Sir. So what now? Right, on we go. Damn Russian tanks! Kill the driver before he gets in. Come okay, on it. Bobby, you're it's a good quick. mechanic. Into the vehicles. Right, who else is good? Yes, sir. Mechanic. Yes. In? Yes. 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 Looks like you. Fine, sir. Okay. Yes. Everyone else. Got get shooting. Kill. Apart from uh, the medic, Fine, you just sir. stay back. No so, how does it look? I've driven worse, boss. But if this is the fuel gauge, we're running on empty. Okay, go easy. The next gas station's two million years away. My soldier ready? Of course. Skill just got better. I'm ready for more, sir. Down, sir. So now we've got some tanks. I'm Let's way, show sir. these Russians what for. And there's a Russian mechanic. Sir. They're really good at driving vehicles. In the I same way that moving, soldiers sir. are really good at fighting. Okay, to rest a while, but sir. We managed to commandeer their tanks because they were hanging out outside. Yes. Can do, sir. Ready? Let's capture the base. Paul, you heal up Bobby again. I think he's taking so much damage because he's not really a good soldier. He would be My better as a mechanic. Just got better. Lieutenant McMillan reporting to Alpha. We're now in command of a Russian installation. Where do we go from here, Colonel? Once we establish your exact location, we'll be on our way. Till then, maintain your position and gather deposited supplies. If you're where we think, then you've one more base in the area. Try to capture it. You want to stop talking to that guy, Lieutenant? He has some really bad ideas. Of course. We just killed some Russians, now we've got to go and find some more. Feeling better? And by that, we mean the guys we already found. Right. Yes. You get back Fine, in one car, yes. Bobby in the other. I'm ready for more, yes. sir. Now let's split the vehicles into a group, soldiers into another. On my way, sir. On my way, Paul sir. Yes. You can be a fourth group. Pull the Paul. Can do, sir. Can right, do, so sir. So vehicles we have to be careful with, because this orange bar is their fuel. Yes. I'm ready. We don't for have more, any sir. in this depot. These are our supplies. Yes. Yes. And we can have do, no way sir. of refueling, so we don't want to mess around. Not too much. Now, we're going to go up onto this hill, because I know that there's I'm a bunker here. there. Time to yes. heal. Let's take that. Paul, you go over there, I'm get ready to you. heal the inevitable wounded. Now, luckily, this soldier switched his aim halfway through. So that's given us a bit longer before we have to pull back somebody, because you don't want them to still be fighting when they're in the yellow, if you can avoid it. Yes. You want me? Right, you go around to the other side. Ready? Paul, you get with the healing. Right, we'll have them wait for now. What now? Seriously, you feeling better? What now? Right, let's head in. So this here is a Russian lab. There's nobody in it right now, so we don't have to worry about it. This is where you can turn your guys into scientists. Oh, sir. Way, sir. We'll talk about classes later on. Basically, what the hell was that? Oh, that will be the bunker exploding. 
That was a big explosion. Here's some sandbags. So what now? Ready for more, uh, right, sir. You go and hang Ready? back there. Nick and do, so there's sir. four basic classes really. in the game. Oh, and that's their medic. So we want to take her down. Right, good job. Right, Paul, you heal him. I think we're committed here now. Let's bring in the tanks. Oh, they're shooting Paul. Right, Paul, run away. Run away quick. Quite fast. Okay, phew, that, that was very nearly very bad. Right, hang out there. Because if Paul went down, then there's nothing we can do. We can capture this lab. Okay, sir. There's a bunker here. I'm not sure if our engineer will get shot at when he's trying to capture their death. Now, yep, he will. Can okay. Do, sir. Ready? Right, Paul, you hold ground so you don't accidentally follow no anyone problem, into combat. We'll heal Zachary back up and then take out the bunker. So yeah, like I was saying, there's four classes in this game. Soldiers. Or soldiers, obviously. Let's go. Mechanics, who drive and build vehicles and repair them. There are engineers who capture, build, dismantle buildings, and they also collect supplies. And our scientists, who heal our soldiers and who research new technologies. Everyone has at least some skill in some of them, unless they're a level zero and totally useless. Even then, they can help very slightly. But they will be ineffective. But you can swap them at will as long as you have the requisite facilities. So this is a Russian armory. That's where you can turn your guys into soldiers. One tanks, take out the soldier. Let me out. The lab, you can make scientists. The depot is where you make uh, Done, sir. Yeah. engineers. Can do, sir. And a factory is where yeah, you turn your guys yes, into mechanics. Here comes the we'll see all of that as Done, we get on. Sir. Yes, sir. Lieutenant McMillan calling Alpha. We've captured the second Russian base, awaiting further instructions. Maintain your position and gather as many crates as you can in the northern base. Transport the crates from the eastern base there too. We'll be in touch. Sir, I'd appreciate it if you could fill me in on... I told you to stay off the air, McMillan. You can ask questions when you get here. Your call sign is now Cobra One. Await further instructions. And don't contact me. Have you got that? Yes, sir. You better have, McMillan. Cobra one out. Right. We need to get our crates from this depot over here, over to here. Let's get to it. Keep your eyes open or the only material we'll collect is lead. Yes? Yeah, so the soldiers will destroy that, just for a little bit of extra XP. Although, McMillan, Ready you can more, see in the bottom sir. left, he is me finished, yeah, He has reached his mission limit. So yes. there's no real benefit yes. to him continuing soldiering. Fine, but, sir. you know, we need soldiers because yes, we're getting sir. attacked by bad guys. What happened? What are you? Where is Sasha? See you in hell, comrade. Please, don't shoot. I am not soldier. Of course not. You're just taking a vacation. I can explain. Not with a bullet in your head. Time to die, soldier. I am not soldier. I am civilian. Please listen to me. Okay, what should we do? The Rusky speaks a bit of English. I think we should interrogate him rather than kill him out of yes? hand. Good work, soldier. I am not soldier. No one's talking to you, Sputnik. I am not Sputnik, I am Mikhail. If you're not a soldier, what are you doing here? I am engineer from Moscow Institute. I, I don't want to be here, I have no choice. Comrade Soyanov says our duty to save resource. Soyanov? I like American. Hamburger, good food. Shut up. Who is Solyanov? Alexei Solyanov, president of Russia. I never heard of him, buddy. He was elected. In 2002, you must know. I was there in 2002. Prokhorov was president. Solyanov, president 14 years, but you want Prokhorov? He's Prokhorov. What do you make of it, Lieutenant? Either the guy's full of shit or he's from a different future. How do you make that out, sir? You mean it's already changed? I don't know, and right now, I don't care. We've got here and now to deal with. We'll interrogate the guy later. Lock him in the depot and make sure he doesn't move. Okay. Let's, uh, hold a prisoner, I guess, from a different future. Right. Yes, sir! You're gonna go in there, become a scientist, and heal up Paul. Yes! Don't know what you're Moving, gonna do. Sir. You're gonna do, go and be a soldier, I think. 
This is one of the really great features about this game, is you can pause and give really complicated order chains if you're so inclined. And that does come in useful in combat. Ready? So we're going to have them stay ah, yes, on guard. You want me? You're going to become a soldier. I've You'll see why it. in a minute. In this depot, we will set up a, uh, a transport of crates to this depot. Yes. Yes, sir. Right, he's a useless scientist. Well, Done, almost sir. useless scientist. But he'll do for now. Right, you're on whole ground. You're on whole ground. That's yes. good. Right, so our soldiers are going to move out. I'm there. Send yes. our scientists after them. Yes. The reason we're taking that patrol into this yes. woods is because some saber-toothed tigers spawn. Next. Don't I'm ask me it. how I know. Here we go. It. I have in the past cleared this woods. Been sure. Yes, sir. And then uh, come back to find that there's yeah yes. saber tooth tigers find eating sir. my guys. I'm on it. There's also eight men, but they're fairly I'm harmless. Can do, sir. Right, I think we're okay. Yes. So we're gonna send everyone into the depot. Moving. And get them to oops. I'm there. Tell them to become an engineer. Moving. Then have them break up crates there and drop them up over there. Now, speed up time so that goes quick. I'm here. Excellent. Next. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we need some crates up here. And the reason Ready? we need that is because I've played this before and yes. know what's coming up. I'm on it. Moving. Right, okay. nope, stop. Ready? Yes, sir. So that's the problem. They're dropping off and yes. trying to immediately go back to the transport route, which it. is normally fine. Fine, sir. It's not what, what we're after Ready? at this particular moment. Right, let's build the armory. Yes. Now we can select this guy, but we're going to leave him alone because uh, more, sir. he's the enemy. Yes. We don't want to help him out. Sir. Right. So who is our soldiers? You and Ready? you. Got it. Going to go yes. ahead and become yes. soldiers. You're Can't engineers. Do, Actually, Can't let's do, have sir. you upgrade this armory. Sir. Because better engineers can build higher level buildings, Ready? which have more armor and hit points, Can't which do, is sir. always good. Yes. I'm on Ready? it. Right, you're I've our medic. It. You go in there. Yes. Yes. Now our worst yes. soldiers will have him, have him, Done, have them. Yes. Guard depot. Fine, sir. Because we don't want. Ready. What's his name? I'm running away. Yes. No, no. What are you doing? Fine, sir. Yes. Stand there. Yes. Why are you? Oh, they're not on board. Okay, That's the problem. Okay, sir. Can do, sir. So this is what I was waiting for. But let's slow down. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the drivers. These guys are mechanics. And I'm going to put a do not attack on them. You'll see why. Natasha Stepanovna, we are here. Open some vodka. Done it. This is the first time. Something there. Something there. Quick, Nikolai. We must return. Oh, dear. Okay, so this mechanic is attacking our guys. So we're going to have to take him down. To kill. This one, though. He's stopped, he's got out, and he's starting to repair his car. And it's actually out of the burning. These are like people, if they catch fire by going into the red, they'll slowly burn and explode if they're not rescued by a mechanic, rather than a medic in this case. But now that that's not burning, that's all we need. So we will have our guys take them down. And the reason we did this yes. is we can now Come steal this cargo vehicle. Ready? I've made and it. its cargo vehicle can go and transport crates for us. Anyone for chess? No, Mikhail. Nobody wants to play Ready? chess. Sir? Now, this Let's is important. Go. Engineers can carry one box, which is ten crates at a time. Next. Ready? But cargo vehicles, they can carry a hundred resources. Sir. And they can do it faster, just because they're cars. So yeah. Definitely very useful to capture one. Speeds up this objective tremendously. Also, if you don't kill all those guys, a Russian raiding party will come to try and root you back out. So it's always good to not let that happen. Now this, of course, needs fuel, but it has a... Well, it has a more fuel tank than our tank. So yeah, more fuel. Ah, can't seem to speak. There's more in the tank fuel tank. Then our armor tanks had in their fuel tanks. Ah, crap. This is what I was afraid of. 
Time to uh, and Ready? Paul's not a medic. Are you carrying crates now? Die! Die! Die, bastard! Oh, shit! Die, bastard! <laughs> yes? Yeah, yeah, awkward. Yes? Just a bit. I'm on it. Is he going to bleed out, or is Paul going to get to him in time? Ready? Paul. Fine, sir. Here comes get him. Band-Aid. Rescue us. Phew. Yeah, that could have been bad. What are yes. you doing? Ready. Okay, for some reason this is decided that it wants to transport crates, so uh Sir, I'm on it. They're trying to take the crates back. I don't know why they're doing that. No, stop. Stop moving. So if you tell them to collect crates, yes, yes. sir, sir, yes, sir. They will take it to the nearest depot. But uh because this one's on a transport route, he was automatically taking it to the yes. destination depot. Which is pretty smart, I think. You're getting low on fuel, sir. No right, problem, we don't need sir. to heal John anymore. He's up to the green, so he will low on carry fuel, on. Sir. He'll heal himself. Very dull. Stop complaining. You're not getting shot at. Low on fuel, sir. Don't think you'll be able to make another run. Oh, really? No, I think no, I broke he it won't. down. Okay, that's fine. Just become a an engineer. I'm on it. Get carrying crates. Done, sir. Alpha, calling Cobra One. We picked up the Russian broadcast. Sounds like you did a good job. Time to move. Take what you can, then destroy the depots. Head northeast, and after one mile, you'll be met by Captain Cornell. He's in charge of a second group. Await further orders there. Andy Cornell. McMillan. Cobra One out. Excellent. Lots of spoils, no losses. Well, none that could be avoided. And we've got the prisoner. I'm happy with that. So John, what will we give him? Let's give him mechanical. Mechanical is one of those skills you really should boost. It's incredibly useful. Because a lot of the later game combat takes place with vehicles. Bobby, I think we'll give you engineering just to make you a bit faster at building. Because you will end up helping a lot. Cirrus, mechanical. Lisa, mechanical. Paul, um, I guess mechanical? Or maybe I'll pump it into science because science is one of those things you want as high a level as possible as quickly as possible. These guys I'm not going to bother with. I'm just going to give them their... Well, I am going to bother with. I'm just not going to give them much thought, I should say. Because we're probably not going to see them again. So, what did we do? We destroyed 30 enemy soldiers. Two buildings, that's the bunkers, and one car. And it says up here we've created three red cars. Now that's kind of, it's a bit confusing at first, but that just means that we stole them from the Russians. Same with these buildings, we stole them. Right, we will have a look at the next mission. I'm not going to actually start it today, but we'll see what the gist is before we finish up. Also, I'm going to extend those loading screens, because they're going past really fast for me. Cornell? John, I didn't know you were here. They'd said you were coming. I wouldn't be. Good to see you, Andy. Likewise, old buddy. So who's your friend here? Mikhail. He's an engineer. Could be useful, except he's Russian. Plenty of them. You learn anything about their mission? Not yet. Right now, I'm not even sure what future they're from. What do you mean? Ask him a question about our time, like, uh, who was Hitler? Says he's never heard of him. Could be lying. Why is he gonna do that? When we get through here, give him a history quiz. If we get through. Anyway, I'll take him with me. We should have a good chance going in as one unit. We're not. Powell just radioed. Said there are more guys around here, and your orders are to find them. Then we attack the Russian line at different points. While they're busy killing one of us, the other goes through. I like my way better. Then there's a chance we all succeed. Try telling Powell. Don't worry, I will. Cobra 1 to Alpha Base. We rendezvoused with Cobra 2. Request permission to proceed as one unit. Your job's to follow orders, McMillan. Not question them. Tell Cornell to proceed eastward and wait for the signal to attack. You take four soldiers and join the camp in the southwest. You'll both attack on my order and we'll give you support. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Great. You've sorted that one out. I have a feeling the support will be minimal. Deadly squat. Give things a chance, will you? Powell managed to get to the north. Maybe he knows something we don't. Yeah? 
then the bastard should tell us. Cornell is freaking awesome. I love that guy. So we can take five characters, even though we're told to take four. So we're gonna take. Uh, actually, no. This is who's already with us. So we need to get this down to five. So we'll leave uh, her and her and take Richardson because he's a fantastic engineer. I think that's what we'll do. Although she has mechanical skill as well as engineering skill. That's actually going to be useful. This mission, we need mechanics for the first time. I'll get to explain factories. Hooray. Uh, there's a semi-good scientist, but he's not good at anything else. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we have. I think we've got a good choice here with Irie. Take it easy, buddy. You too, John. And he's taking Mikhail with him, so that's one less thing to worry about. But we're going to have to do it next time, because we've been playing for quite a while, and it's time to end the episode. Although before I do end it, I just want to mention the conversations we just had here. Because everyone except John is technically expendable, these conversations can go slightly differently, sometimes fairly differently, depending on who's still alive. But uh, sometimes it's you, you miss a few lines of conversation. It's usually not uh, earth shattering. Sometimes you actually get, like if it's a major conversation, you can sometimes get one person speaking both sides of the conversation. Which is, is kind of strange, but it's just one of those things. They have to tell the story somehow, so there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Original War. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. This is... I love this game. I've played it so many times. i played it on my uh, original disc. I think I bought the disc about three different times for various reasons. Nanny bought it on Steam. I don't know how many hours I've put into this, but yeah. This is fantastic and I really hope you guys are going to enjoy it as well. If you like what you've seen, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, sub to the channel, share the video, that helps out a whole lot, and be sure to tune in next time. See you then!